Oh, and then out of the blue. I mean, I did not see him missing this one. Again, he might have been thinking about getting the black. The perfect angle, but... Wow, oh, what a shot that is. Wow. Oh. I'll tell you what, that's a very inventive what? shot. Many players would not have played that. Williams is a real shot maker. And that was a clever shot to take on. It was a gamble. Seven. Most players, I'm sure, would have played to get on a colour to perhaps go into the reds, but he did everything in one fell swoop there. Couldn't agree more, Neil. Some players wouldn't have considered it. Other players wouldn't have thought of it. Could pay rich dividends. Eight. Thirteen. Fourteen. Ninety. Twenty. He's been quite brilliant all week, isn't he, Mark Williams? That clearance against Tom Ford was... No. Oh. Twenty-seven. Something else. And I don't know if that's just giving him some belief that he could go all the way. He's not been phased or stressed out by anything as usual. His record against O'Sullivan we know is not great, but he's not frightened of him or anything like that. It's just he's playing the, the greatest ever. And uh, the last time they played, Williams did win in the Masters. He's given O'Sullivan plenty to think about this evening. All of his experience. 35. He needed the interval. And O'Sullivan swamped him. 36. And that seems quite a long time ago since then. Plenty has hand happened and gone his way. Be a big extension of his lead if he can take this. Didn't hold back again. Would have been unlucky not to be on something. Forty-four. He said he was going to be bold, and he has been. Also, though, measured, focused. The way he won that match against Tom Ford that Neil was talking about, it was as though the, the hand of destiny played its part. So many times over the years, players have won tournaments after miraculously escaping when they seemed destined for early defeat. Is this going to be another such instance? 50. Fifty-seven. 
Yes, he just wants to know where he can land the cue ball to be on the bottom red of the two. So again, that's... 58. At the time, it was three shots away that he was considering. Might look at the pink. Black, of course, most likely shot. Pink would almost guarantee him being on the red. Just got to get the shot right, pace-wise. No worries at all. 65. Just this red and any high-value colour. 66. Looks like being five on the trot if the pin goes in. For the Welsh potting machine. <laughs> this machine is not malfunctioning. 72. Seventy nine. Watching this, you would never believe that Mark Williams has only beaten Ronnie O'Sullivan twice in the last twenty two years. Now he stands two frames away. Eighty five. From a rare and very satisfying victory. It's been another marvellous break. I mean, as I say, I think the first shot of it where he got the bunch open from a red, planting 90. it onto a red over a pocket. All of these things that were showing a lot of foresight from a very surprising O'Sullivan miss, let's be honest. And when he missed, he 94. probably still can't quite believe that he missed sitting down there. And he has paid the full price. Ninety-nine. One hundred and five. Scoring like a good and Mark Williams. Every reason to be, because he's taken this final by the scruff of the neck.
even a genius in any field can have an off day. Thank you, frame 14. Mark Williams to break. Ferroni O'Sullivan, it's more an off night. There's still time to turn it around. But the sands of time are running low. If all the reds are in the way of each other, or is anything that could possibly go? Well, I think they're all in each other's way. Now, he's got away with one there, O'Sullivan. Maybe you can try and pot this. They read off the other one, but I mean, he's such an inventive player, you never quite know what he's going to do next. These days, very adventurous. So what's he got now, O'Sullivan? He doesn't always drop this far behind in one of these sort of huge finals and have to turn it on, but he's going to have to try something. And I think that red in the last frame took him completely by surprise. I, I don't even think he was thinking about the red, and of course, like anyone else, that's when you do miss them, considering position. Taking it for granted. We've talked about O'Sullivan's huge lead in their head-to-head -head confrontations. They've been involved in five previous finals. And O'Sullivan's won four of those. Williams, though, evergreen. One. Opening red was slightly more difficult than it looked. It was just off straight. Eight. Seems to be able to locate the angle on a lot of those awkward pots. Nine. I was just to say he was a single ball potter. He, he kind of is, but there's so much more to his game than just that. The other thing that's remarkable about Mark Williams for me, he's a player resurrected. 15. At one point, I was convinced that his future did not hold tournament wins. He's the reigning British Open champion. And of course, if he 22. wins this evening, what a route it would be to this title beating in successive three. matches the three highest-ranked players in the world. Thirty. Thirty-one. Thirty-eight. 
39. Oh, this is a little thinner than he would like. And also, he will naturally is going to head back to bulk unless he plays it very slowly. Beautiful. Beautiful recovery. Playing it almost dead weight to the pocket, that black. So the keyboard didn't disappear. 47. Oh, he's in a real groove, isn't he? Goodness <laughs> me. Fifty-three. The best compliment you can pay Williams. He's giving 60. O'Sullivan at the moment an unpalatable taste of his own medicine. This is what O'Sullivan 61. often does to his opponents. Well, he didn't mean to do that, but it won't matter because uh, this red now that he's on, didn't mean to push the other red just safe. I can't see it making much difference. Yeah, I mean, O'Sullivan was terrific from 3-1 down. 69. But he didn't play any better than this because you can't really. Just looks as good as ever. As good as ever, 76. and that is saying something, isn't it? All the things he's achieved. Must be in a hurry, taking two pots at a time. 78. Mark Williams, 78, and the place. The city of Manchester proudly boasts two orchestras. Mark Williams is playing like a symphony orchestra, hitting all the right notes to be one away from the title. Ronnie. Mark Williams has been brilliant this evening. Take your seats quickly, please. Ronnie O'Sullivan, yet to win a Thank frame you, frame in the 15. session.
Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. If he doesn't win this one, it's over. But just a cautionary tale for all you fans of Mark Williams, of which there are many. He has lost a ranking event final. 10-9 from 9-5 up before. UK Championship against John Higgins. And in one of those frames, Higgins needed a snooker. So don't completely discount a, a full-scale O'Sullivan comeback just yet. Yes, and I always think back a couple of years ago, this Tour Championship, when uh, John Higgins was involved in one of those matches that was even further. This time he was in front 9-4, Neil Robertson pipped him, so it isn't over. But uh, if Mark Williams keeps knocking everything in, it will be. Because he's not making any errors. That's O'Sullivan's biggest problem. Now, this time O'Sullivan saved his shot, did not really threaten, unusually. Slightly ill-directed and got the pace wrong. He'll be annoyed about that because at this level, you can actually get an advantage from hand on the table, the shot he had. Can't afford any more errors, of course, now. with the three bolt colours down the centre. It's quite uh, a little bit more difficult to actually get the cue ball behind one of them. Because if you do, there's a big target down the centre of the table. And it would be troublesome. Now here's an opportunity to slip in behind yellow and green. Uh, he misjudged it too. <laughs> Although it's perfectly weighted. The white weaved its way through all of the traffic. <laughs> the shot I'll remember from this tournament was a greeny oh. knocked in early in that extraordinary clearance against Tom Ford. 
that one was also a pressure ball. Is he in to win? Well, he's been magnificent tonight, and he's Ten. ever since that O'Sullivan easy red missed the right corner. That's been 200 points in favour. 11. O'Sullivan has said nothing, nothing to go at. A lot of time to reflect on things. Sixteen. <clears throat> However, pink and black, not easy to get on. Clearly, the pink's completely blocked off. Black is mostly. Can't assume he's just going to keep potting difficult balls until uh, they shake hands. Not that easy a table. He might be able to free the pink here. Might take that risk to make things a little easier if he could achieve it. Picked off the lone red. 22. 23. Just caught that red slightly too thick, even though he potted it, and that's why the cue ball did not make the desired journey. Well, if he could win the frame here, it'd be quite something. Because the walls aren't really there. Certainly not the colours. 29. He's playing magnificent, isn't he? He really is. He's in a very special place mentally. In that bubble of concentration. Now, here's the shot that might free the black. The red above it to free the red to the right of it. 35. Mm, not achieved properly. Never got into the cue ball. Need to zip it across a little more. Big moment this. If he achieves this shot, he's probably going to take him very close to the winning line. And when you're inhabiting the zone like Mark Williams is, any kind of misjudgment is annoying. Mark Williams, 35. He's giving nothing there. a better safety shot for myself. This time he has found the centre of the table. <laughs> Last couple of shots have just turned the balance slightly for the first time in frames. <laughs> I mean, look at that for a shot, though. What a shot. Demoralising for Ronnie O'Sullivan. That's like a shot that another Mark Selby would be proud to pull off, and he's perhaps the best in that department. Hold on a minute. One. Yeah, big fluke because he has on the yellow at the angle if he wants to to take out the four reds here. Whether he plays it or not, I don't know. So that's what he's tried. Oh. Wow, that is... That is criminal. That is criminal. I, mean, I don't know whether there might have been any kind of a plant there or what. Have a look at this now. No, he couldn't have seen that. That just didn't... 
that just appeared. It was not a, a set to the right corner that he didn't notice and could have avoided. He could do no more there, O'Sullivan. He completely hit the jackpot right in the target with no reward. The only saving grace, if that is the appropriate phrase, was that he didn't leave an easy red. Had he done so, it could have been curtains. No, but maybe there's that horrible feeling that it isn't going to be his night, having seen that happen as well. This is a tough shot, especially when you had no table time. Yeah, critical time. I mean, he could always play that right-hand red for safety, but he doesn't really want to bring it into play. So he's got another shot that he can play. He's got a red that he can take on. But he knows it's dangerous, and he, he feels that it, if, should he miss it, he undoes a lot of good that he's already done in this frame. He might feel if he plays it to pot it, it's got to go in. He doesn't seem to be missing very much at all, though. That's the point. He broke down in position early on, that black, the cannon. And they're all going smack in the middle of the pocket. He was a little higher on that shot than normal because the, the green was a hindrance. At least he's knocked another red safe, and given that he's 39 ahead, that's obviously to his advantage. Going to try and get the yellow safe now as well. On the left cushion. He hasn't quite done. Mark Williams one. Well, the crowd want O'Sullivan, but he's not getting anything. Feeding off scraps. Well, he's been so accurate on these sort of shots, but, it, you know, it's extremely difficult, this hand on cushion. Can he keep knocking these shots in? Well, he's human, that we've discovered. There was movement on that as well. That will do, thank you. Well, he didn't even take his time on that shot. He got down and hit it. Out of sync, out of rhythm. So he does get somehow another chance. Uh, the collie wobbles you have said stop him. shouting. You're pulling players off. Thank you. He looks uncomfortable about something out there, O'Sullivan. One.
six. Still a way back into this match, but it's going to have to happen right now. Body language isn't telling me it's about to happen. Seven. It's a horrid table to solve. And for the second time this evening, he's left a pot short 12. of the target. In frame 11, it was a red to the middle pocket. Now Williams gets in again. Now Sullivan's timing is clearly askew. It's a colour with the, this. Seven. Uh, these are tough reds, but uh, Williams lines them up pretty well. Not this time. Mark the Williams, winning line seven. is the winning line, isn't it? No matter who you are, and you've still got to get over it. And I'll tell you what, I bet Mark Williams wishes he had put the yellow safe when he attempted it a while ago. Well, he's kind of in between here. Six. Yes, he's on the red. The interesting thing is, just check to see if it goes to the top left. So he must have played on it in to the middle. And he's going to have to play it across there, I think. Ronnie O'Sullivan, six. Well, he's not thinking about cutting this in, is he? He looks mightily thin. I don't think that's on. Don't know if he could double it to right middle or whether he just wants to. Play a great safety shot. He's played the double. He's got it. And to be honest with you, the last few shots, O'Sullivan's his spirit looks to have been broken by Williams. You've seen it for a frame or so. Mark Williams, a one. 29 in front, 27 on. O'Sullivan needs one snooker. But Neil's hit the, the nail on the head as he normally does. O'Sullivan dispirited, crestfallen. And now surely Britain. Yeah. Indeed! <laughs> That was the epitome of Scrappy, but Mark Williams will not be bothered in the slightest. Ronnie O'Sullivan's had a great season, but he didn't have, apart from four frames this afternoon, a great final. They call him Willow. He's not a weeping Willow tonight. He's absolutely over the moon and with every justification. Let's go down to Rob on the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, May we have another round of applause for two of our sport's all-time greats. Ronnie, we very rarely see you lose in major finals. It's been more than two years, and it's taken a great to deny you a sixth title of the season. Um, uh, listen, I, I think he's been the best player, most consistent player for the last five years. The way he's been hitting the ball, very rarely does he play a poor match. Um, the way he's played this week, um, the way he played tonight. Yeah, he's just an amazing player, really. He's so talented. 
Um, and now he seems, I think he's better now than he's ever been, to be honest with you. I mean, he's so compact. He's got Lee Walker he works very hard with. He just seems so strong, you know, and uh, I tried. I'll give it everything I did this afternoon to, to, to stay in the match, but he's just so consistent and so strong. And yeah, you might, you know, get the better in one session, but if you don't keep playing top level snooker, he'll just, just eat you alive. So. You know, um, I think I've done well to get five frames today, to be honest with you. <laughs> and, and you mentioned this afternoon yeah. the way you played after the mid-session break was magnificent to forge the lead coming into tonight. Yeah, well, I knew I had to do something, you know, and um, so, you know, I just put everything into it. But then to keep trying to put everything into it, it's not easy, you know. The game has to come pretty comfortable, pretty easy. And like I said, for the last five years, Mark seems to be doing that better than anybody. I think if he was to dedicate his whole life to it, he'd probably be number one in the world, but he doesn't. He likes to play golf and chill out and enjoy his life. But, um, you know, but he still doesn't do bad for someone that just plays about the sport, you know? So, no, listen, he, he's a deserved winner, a fantastic player, probably the most talented snooker player I've ever seen, and um, he deserves his victory. And a word... Spoken, spoken with the grace of a champion. And a word on the crowd here in Manchester, Ronnie. I think it's fair to say we've all loved coming here after Hull last year. They've been terrible this week, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> no, I tell you, they're, 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 um, you know, London's very vo vocal. London's very vocal, but um, this is close. You know, they they really get behind the players. They. Um, they really support this tournament unbelievably well and hopefully it's here to stay. It's a great venue, great place. Love coming here. So hopefully it stays here you know, and come, come back for many more years to come. Ronnie, thank you very much indeed and the best of luck at the World Championship. Your runner-up, Ronnie O'Sullivan. <laughs> Mark Williams, tour champion. You're still quite good at this despite what you say. Uh, yeah, not bad. I played, you know, I played well all, all day. I was 3-1 uh, up, <clears throat> and then I went 5-3 down. He played unbelievable, and I thought, sometimes you just got to hold your hands up, and you're just too good. But tonight, you know, I took it to him. I, pl I played well, and, you know, it was nice to have the family up. Yeah, he, he comes everywhere. These two only come up to watch Ronnie, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, they, they, they say they support me, but they ain't really. But, I, I, I mean, the crowd has been fantastic all week. Give everybody... Uh, great support and thanks to everybody. I can't believe I won, to be honest. And, I, and look, I can tell, I can tell there's a little bit of emotion there, Mark. You're such a nice guy. And the week has been spellbinding. You, you sat down in that first pre-match interview and said, I'm jet-lagged, I've got back from China having played pool. You then produced one of the greatest clearances we've ever seen to win the decider against Tom Ford, and you've beaten the world's number one, two and three to land this tour championship. It's been magnificent from you this week. Yeah, it's not bad for a part-timer. I'm a part-time pool player now. Uh, but, yeah, what can I say? I mean, I, I never thought I was going to win tournaments at 48. I'm 49 now, and I just won another one, so... Who knows the World Championships around the corner? He's the man to beat. You never know, I'll try my best. And Mark, it's not the same as winning three world titles, but bearing in mind how you've done it, who you've beaten, and in front of this great crowd, how close is this to, to the top of all your now 26 ranking titles? It's got to be up there yeah, somewhere. Yeah, it's up there. I think, uh, like Ronnie said, I think I'm a more better all-round player now than I've ever been, I think. Uh, considering I don't practice that much, to be honest, but, you know, I just try my absolute uh, nuts off. <laughs> uh, yeah, um... Look. I like nuts, Mark! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I can't really say much. I'm just absolutely over the moon. And to have all the family up here as well to watch is brilliant. I mean, I beat Judd Trump, Mark Allen, Ronnie O'Sullivan, three best players in the world. I haven't done it the easy way, and, you know, I've won... Not, not easy, but I've won, you know, quite well. Mark, I know you don't like people saying this, but you are one of the all-time greats, and you've proved it again tonight. Your champion, Mark Williams. <laughs> Would you please now welcome your presentation party, the CEO of WST, Simon Brownell, and Megan Esmond, the marketing director from Johnston's Paint. We welcome firstly our runner-up, collecting the runner-up medal prize money of £60,000, 
Ronnie O'Sullivan. <laughs> and now your winner, collecting the winner's medal, the trophy, prize money of one hundred and fifty thousand pounds, and the title of twenty twenty four. Johnston's Paint Tour Champion, Mark Williams! Tour <laughs> Champion, Mark Yeah. Right. 